Sometimes you can visit it by intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting has been shown in studies to increase the recycling process, rebuilding of the recycling process, because that's very, very important. Okay? So here comes methylene blue. It says, hey, NAD, give me that electron. I'm going to take it away from you. NAD and FAD are robbed from their electrons. Okay? It's just a little pass from one chemical to another chemical. Okay? Once I pass this to the other chemical, I get used up, okay? Then I go to another process where I have to recycle myself to get built up again, okay? And uh, methylene blue comes in, says, hey, don't get used up. I'll take this little doohickey from you. I'll go to the, all the way to the end. I won't go from one cycle to the other because in order to make ATP, you have to go from one Two, three, to four. If any one of those are broken or don't work or work intermittently or less than what they should, you get something called mitochondrial disease, mitochondrial dysfunction. So here comes methylene blue. Comes and robs NAD and FAD of electrons. Says, hey, man, don't, 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 don't worry about it. I'm going to take your electron bypass the entire manufacturing process and go straight to cytochrome C and make ATP. Don't worry, chill, relax. I'll do all the work. Then, methylene blue can't get broken down by your body. Your liver cannot break it down. It stays either leukomethylene blue or methylene blue, and that's it. 